13 veterans that we have up here have just endured a very intensive, long, four-week added manufacturing boot camp to put the time, you put the effort to not only understand the knowledge, but now we're looking to apply it and start businesses, go into the, these exciting careers, and also continue your education in this field. I'm still in the process of trying to figure out what I want to do when I grow up again. And I want to do something that causes me to have a uh, never a dull moment, always something to look forward to. I have uh, some difficulties where I would be in a 9 to 5 setting, so um, I think that if I could work for myself, uh, this would be a great career path, great start. I've been always, you know, wanting to um, see something where veterans are being placed in jobs and really helped to get jobs. Um, there's a lot of things out there that say they're doing that, but it doesn't quite happen. Uh, the next bootcamps have evolved. Uh, we have actually got feedback from industry to create these types of programs that are more focused towards technician operator roles in additive manufacturing. I think really across the board, members are really interested in the opportunity to introduce veterans to 3D technology and also to have a conversation um, with America Makes specifically around the skills that they're looking for because the more we learn from members about what they're looking for, the more we can integrate that into the training offerings that we provide. The, the power of America Makes is being able to bring industry, academia, uh, and organizations locally and nationally that are focused on additive manufacturing uh, and to create projects around uh, creating a, a workforce for additive manufacturing. Veterans are very capable individuals. Uh, the military teaches them many uh, critical components of being a good worker. Uh, the fact that they're mission oriented, the fact that they're team players, the fact that they show up on time, the fact that they have a work ethic, all of those so-called soft skills are skills that every employer is looking for. One of the reasons why I thought it was such a great match was that you know these, these people typically are specialists. They're working with avionics. They're working with very high-tech equipment. They're good problem solvers. They, they don't get bogged down with you know, minor details. They can persevere and you know, work their way through a problem. And I think what was the exciting part was just linking a little bit of uh, specific engineering knowledge as it pertains to uh, an industry solution, in this case, you know, metal additive manufacturing specifically. Well, we've been uh, learning the theoretical and doing some hands-on in the classroom setting, and now we get to see what's going on in our real life. It's what's going on and being applied to the real world. I'm being here and seeing and being able to differentiate hype versus the reality of actually making parts with a 3D printer out of metal, um, I'm sort of still in a state of, state of shock over it. Today we had uh, 3D veterans in really to try and get them almost to hands-on training. So we're trying to get them as much of the language, much of the skills, understanding how additive manufacturing and subtractive manufacturing, the post-processing machines work, get an opportunity to talk to our veterans and our operators and our engineers about their career paths, about what you know expire, inspires them rather, what they love to do, why they're here, you know, how they got here. The military basically steered me in the right direction as far as um, taking on leadership roles as well. You know, I think that the tasks that I were given here and what I was asked to do was really minimal compared to what I was used to doing. So um, I, I think that definitely helped a lot. So I was comfortable in the situation that I was put in. I also think a technical background helps. Um, troubleshooting and uh, attention to detail is one of the biggest, definitely biggest helpers. Veterans um, are very good in our service department. We have a lot of veterans that work with us at the moment. Um, they are very detail oriented and I have yet to run into a machine following a veteran that is uh, not up to par. I mean, my experience around veterans is they're very reliable. 
that is going to put their heart and soul in, into the job. And, and uh, so certainly, I, I think discipline, the discipline that they've acquired through uh, their training, as well as the experience, uh, certainly uh, would lead to a very reliable employee and, and a very good employee in the additive world. Out of the few veterans that I've interviewed here today, I found at least two that would be applicable for positions that we're looking for. And that they have experience from their military service that would be beneficial for us when they come in for training. And so, you know, programs like this are super easy to get behind because they're going to give us employees that want to be here, that are motivated, and that they have the right job skills and the right personalities to work on our teams. We'll have 100% placement working with local and national employers. We'll also have veterans who will start attending uh, higher education institutions, and then we'll have veterans that are going to start their businesses, and we'll give them the resources to be able to be successful in that as well. You learn a lot. You honestly do. They threw a lot of information. Uh, at you in a very little bit of time, um, but we, the way they formatted it and directed it at us, we really, you know, soaked up a lot of information. And towards the end, when we started doing these uh, these tours, it allowed us to, you know, incorporate that into our into our information. Being able to attend the 3D uh, boot camp was an awesome experience because the, in learning, it was not a gentleman's course and required a lot of effort, both from the teachers and the students. It took us out of our comfort zone and made us work very hard. I've already teamed up with one of the mechanical engineering professors here. We have some ideas for musical instrument development that we're going to be working on. Industrial organizational psychology is what I'm studying and it's um, how to make work better for the workers and for the, the leaders. And this technology is going to play a role in that. I will be transferring to Robert Morris University to uh, uh, join in with the Manufacturing Engineering Program. And so yes, the, the, the program gave me a lot more confidence that I would be able to apply those principles that I learned in my new degree program. I feel better about myself. It taught me that I could push myself harder and learn a different skill without worrying about it. I'm a homeless veteran right now, I'm unemployed. So this type of program has given me actually a second chance. It's given me hope because I've looked and I've looked and I've applied and I've applied and I've been pure rejection. And this program is the one that really accepted me and I really appreciate that. Who better to help us with this mission of uh, battery manufacturing than those that understand a mission that understand uh, being dedicated and have the passion to take this forward. Thank you again, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.